classier, fake diamonds or fake pearls? I don't know which one stained your neck. Come on, Tom's gonna be here any minute. He's taking me to an architecture awards dinner. Ooh, an architect, how sexy. Gary Cooper in the Fountainhead. <laughs> Mr. Brady. You're not helping me. Well, which one did you wear to court? The pearls. And you got off, right? <laughs> pearls it is. <laughs> Oh, you really like this guy, huh? Yeah. Tom is just, he's very special, you know? He, he, he barely drinks, he doesn't shoot at road signs, and yet he's still fun. <laughs> uh, do we really have to go to that all-you-can-eat cafeteria with Grandma and Grandpa? Yes, they love you, and they're not going to be around forever. You keep saying that, but it never comes true. <laughs> Kimberly, why can't we just live life to the fullest and try to enjoy it? <laughs> oh, what's with her? Happy. <laughs> Creepy. Come on, give me a break. I met a fun guy. The most fun guy I ever knew was Jimmy's dad. He could eat glass. <laughs> Can your guy eat glass? Oh, it's easy to eat glass if you drink as much as Jimmy's dad. <laughs> Come on, gang. Let's get over to Gunderson's before all the fruit cups are gone. Pamela, you look so nice. Why? Because I'm happy, Mother, and I'm not going to let you say anything to ruin it. Well, that's just being selfish. <laughs> Uh, what's all this crap? Blueprints. I'm meeting a client. Have you told them you're gay? <laughs> he didn't ask. He didn't ask. Well, if he's not worried about you sneaking around trying on his underwear, then I'm not. I worked for the man before dad, and he doesn't wear underwear, at least none that I could find. <laughs> Come on, let's get out of here before we all catch pervert. <laughs> This jacket doesn't feel right. Does it look right? Because it doesn't feel right. Jacket? No jacket. Jacket? No jacket. Jacket? No jacket. Jacket? Okay, it feels right. Oh, God, it doesn't feel right. The jacket's fine. Okay. See? Look in the mirror. Sexy is sexy, woman. I wasn't going for sexy. I was going for classy. Okay, classy, classy woman. <laughs> You're going to love him. Yeah, well, if he ever makes it in the door. <laughs> Pamela, you look fantastic. Thank you. Oh, Tom, uh, this is my brother. Butch Gamble! Tom Kolchak. Oh, you guys know each other? Oh, yeah. Hell yeah. We played football together in high school. Under Coach Zip Zednick. Zip Zednick. <laughs> Boys, I want you to know that Jesus is out on that field with you tonight. And just know that the painful screams of your opponent are music to our Lord's ear. <laughs> now, which one of you little piss ants took my whistle? <laughs> that was him. <laughs> We should probably get going. Well, you two have a good time. Hey, hey Butch. Go Pumas! <laughs> All right, Tom Kolchak. What a pud. <laughs> Hey, Charlie, is Danny around? I picked up his mulcher at the hardware store. Oh, look, Penelope's in a coma. I hope her baby's OK. <laughs> yeah, you, you want to give me a hand with it? It's out in the van. Yeah, Dominic's? Charlie on West Adams. <laughs> yeah, the usual. <laughs> no, let's go with thick crust today. I'm feeling crazy. <laughs> what are you doing? Ordering breakfast. No, I mean, what are you doing? You've been this way for weeks. It's 2 o'clock in the afternoon. You're not even dressed. They'll never let you in a liquor store looking like that. It's 2 o'clock? My God, I'm missing yoga with Denise. Our son appears to have lost the will to move. Uh-huh. Aren't you worried? No, not at all. Don't you remember when we held him as a baby and talked about his future? And I would always say, I hope my boy becomes a lazy, unmotivated human slug. <laughs> well, my dream has come true. Have you talked to him? No, no, I haven't. What a great idea. <laughs> you know, I've been passing him notes, uh, using telepathy. I, I made a big purple banner and hired a plane to tow it. But talking to him, that's genius, boy. <laughs> You know, this marriage might not have worked even if I'd stayed straight. <laughs> One thing we haven't tried yet, talking to him together. You mean with you? 
We'll do it like we used to. I'll open my mouth, start to say something, you cut me off, and I'll agree with everything you say. <laughs> Charlie, we... Butch, please. <laughs> Charlie, your dad and I... Shh. Denise is doing downward dog. <laughs> Okay, Hotshot, that's it. You can't live in this house unless you pay your mother rent, so get a job. Ooh, look at the time. I'm late for my nap. <laughs> <laughs> so, the banquet hall was amazing. Tom is a fabulous dancer, and he even pulled my chair out for me, and I don't mean when I wasn't looking. <laughs> Give him time, he's setting you up. What are you talking about? Look, I know you really like Tom, and you're floating on air, and I hate to bring you down, but the guy's a jackass. Cut him loose. <laughs> oh, you are so cute. You're being such a big brother. Ow, 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 your fingernails are in my cheek. Ow, ow, ow. I know. Drop it. I can't. I hate him. Everybody hated him. He's a fiend. A fiend? you got against him? Look, he dipped my gym lock in mercuric oxide. What does that do? Do you see the scar? That skin was grafted from my ass. I have ass skin on my hand. <laughs> Thank you, Tom Kolchak. That was high school. Get over it. Easy for you to say. Every time I palm it, just I have to scratch my ass. <laughs> well, here's the mulcher, Butch, but... I think I did something to it, taking it out of the box. Throw away the bubble wrap? Yeah. Does that mean I can't return it? No, I just wanted to pop it. <laughs> hey, I might still have some in the attic. <laughs> Elizabeth! I noticed Charlie is no longer on the couch. Well, you told him to get a job or move out. Congratulations. Got a job? Moved out. <laughs> really? Yeah. Where? Oh, not far. Howdy, neighbors. I really love my new place. The people I used to live with were just impossible. Is that thing loud? Because I sleep late. Perfect. Perfect. Because he thinks he's got us where he wants us, but he doesn't. Because we've got him. You got nothing, bonehead. I know. The point is, we cannot last him. He's not living in your shed. Remember when he was five and he went on a hunger strike because we wouldn't buy him a big wheel? Yeah. How long did that last? 24 days. I bet he's sitting in there right now thinking of moving back. That's not moving back music. I don't know what is. wants to know why you haven't come in there to say hello. Because I'm doing the dishes. You know what? I don't care what he did to you in high school. People change. God, Butch, if anyone's proof of that, it's you. Well, sure, I'm taller. <laughs> and I'm giving up magic. No, wait. What's that behind your ear? <laughs> Who am I kidding? You can't give up magic. Magic chooses you. Go out there and give Tom another chance. Mm, I think I'd rather knock back a few more dishes. Move it. Mm -hmm. Hey, Tom, look at you checking out those steps. Well, I guess you would do that, being an architect and whatnot. Well, I'd love to chat, but I gotta get the door. You ought to be horsewhipped. Get right on it. <laughs> Any man who lets his boy live in a shed is a disgrace. Bill, we have company. Who is this clown? <laughs> I'm Tom Kolchak. Uh, Mom, Dad, Tom's an architect. And an old friend of mine. A friend? Well, isn't that just ducky? <laughs> Hug me a moment while I go puke my guts out. <laughs> the hell's the matter with you? It's bad enough Butch goes to those bars, but when he brings one of his boys into your home, he's crossed the line. This isn't swinging London. <laughs> Excuse me, for your info, Tom happens to be my date. Oh! <laughs> An architect! Oh. Listen, honey, you haven't given away the milk for free yet, have you? <laughs> no! Good, because he is perfect! Your mother's right. If you screw this up, you deserve nothing. Bill, you did.
did say that thing about puking. It's all right. I'll turn on the charm. No, no, Dad, you don't have charm. Oh, Kolchak, how you doing there? I'm sorry about that before. I think I must have ate something that disagreed with me. By the way, that's one hell of a pair of slacks. <laughs> Oh, you must do very well. How well, exactly? <laughs> what? Weren't you going to take Tom out on the porch? No. Uh-huh, yes. And I will buy you a six-pack of dishes. I'd like a case... of German dishes. Tom, what kind of car you drive there? Hey. You remember that senior pep rally where we painted the side of the school? <laughs> no. I remember you beating up band guys, setting my jersey on fire. <sighs> well, let's cut the crap, Tom. We were never friends. No, we weren't. I was a real jerk to you in high school. Butch, uh, my dad was drinking a lot back then, and I... I guess I was taking it out on everybody at school. God, I was such a pud. I wouldn't say that. I know it doesn't change anything, but um, I'm truly sorry. Hey, it's cool, man. Forget about it. Thanks. Yeah. God, I was always so jealous of you. You were so popular. You're a great athlete. You had Elizabeth. Now, what happened there? Hey, you guys were perfect together. Well, years go by, people's tastes change. <laughs> Husbands turn gay. <laughs> what? Yipper. Butch Gamble is gay. You're not going to spray homo on the side of my car, are you? <laughs> Can I tell you something, then? I still envy you. I mean, that must have been really rough, telling people you were gay. I, I wish I had that kind of courage. Excuse me? You're stronger than me. I would never dare be that honest with my family. Hey. What, what is this, guy talk? Maybe. <laughs> well, Mom and Dad want to know if you're coming back in, or should we all come out? Well, I think everybody should come out. <laughs> what a person really wants to do. I hate to rush off, but I'm getting up early to meet a buddy at the gym tomorrow morning, so... Uh... <laughs> it was a pleasure to meet both of you. Now I remember who you remind me of. Perry Como. <laughs> Only broader, with nicer teeth and blonde. I'll bet you get that a lot, huh? All the time. Yeah. Good night. Okay, good night. Oh, call me. That's a man's man. I couldn't agree with you more. Oh, honey, we're so happy for you. Oh, and don't you look pretty tonight. You look very pretty. Good night. You've turned into a... Fine young woman. <laughs> I am a fine young woman. <laughs> oh, that's a first. A guy that I don't have to sell to mom and dad. Tom is different from any other guy I've ever dated. He is different. <laughs> you know that, that tension that you always feel with a man and a woman? It is just not there. <laughs> I mean, I could totally relax and I could be myself and... Oh, it's like he's listening to me, not just pretending to listen to me to get into my pants. I get that same feeling. We're taking things slow and we're becoming friends. Maybe that's what Oprah was talking about. Oh, she's looking for a hammer in the lingerie department. Hello? Padlock's open. If you're here to tell me what to do, don't let the plywood door hit you in the ass. Oh, I, uh, <laughs> bought you a housewarming present. Coasters. Yeah, do you take care of your furniture? It'll last forever. What's going on? Well, got me a new saw. 
Oh, and Pamela's new boyfriend's gay, and she doesn't know it. Really? What kind of song? <laughs> you gonna tell her? Out of my way, lady! Bill, go home. I don't want you interfering. Don't you tell us what we can or can't give to our grandson. Oh, God, that's Mom and Dad. Is there a back way out of this place? I don't know. I haven't had time to explore. <laughs> we just brought over a few things for your son, who is living like a, a homeless person in a shed. If you give him things, he will stay there longer. Let me have them cans of chili. I can fake her out. You put that chili down, or so help me, I'll take you both out. The security system's right here, sweetheart. Just say the word, and I'll push the panic button. <laughs> what the hell is the matter with you? First you turn your husband into a puff pastry, and now you make your boy live in a shanty. We are not making him no hey why don't you hillbillies keep it down over there they were just leaving mr whitmore good why don't you go live on the south side with the rest of the unwashed you son of a bitch i live on the south side hey oh. hey don't you throw cans at me you animal that doesn't give me a boost joan i'm going over the top bring it on Bill, Bill, you're wearing your good pants i pushed it i pushed it the fake police are on their way i suggest you leave Fine! Stay out of the south side, Whitmore, unless you're ready to rumble. Be proud, boy. Damn, you're keying. Those are some very nutty people. And yet, they live in a house. Dude, what are you doing here? I don't know. Are you trying to make some kind of statement? I don't know. Well, I gotta tell you, Charlie, you're, you're kind of scaring me. You? I went from future Dr. Gamble to weird guy living in the shed. I'm feeling petrified. <sighs> Thank God. That's a relief. I thought you were just a bum. Dad, I'm paralyzed. I don't know what to do. My life is a mess. You know, I wake up one day scared, and before I know it, I can't get off the couch. Can I make a suggestion? I know this may sound hard, but tomorrow morning when you get up, put on pants. Pants? Just start slow. Jeans, cords, clam diggers. Aren't those for girls? Yeah, you, sir, can pull it off. <laughs> yeah, you can do it. Come on. One leg at a time. The next thing you know, shoes. Then you're out that door and a millionaire. Yeah. I, I know, I know I'm rushing things with the shoes, but come on, pants. You don't even have to zip. Okay, I'll do it. Yeah, good decision. Come on, let's get back in that house. Oh, you go ahead. I gotta reinflate this cushion and put it back in Danny's trunk. <laughs> oh, you must be worried. You're smoking. Well, you can put that cigarette out, because tomorrow you're gonna see a new man. That's wonderful. Charlie's getting a job? Nope. Putting on pants. <laughs> Butch, hey, come on in. Like your office. It's fabulous. <laughs> Thanks. I did it myself. Surprise, surprise. <laughs> Sit down. So, what brings you into Cincinnati? Well, I'm here to talk about Pamela. Oh, yeah, she's great. Yes, she is. And I wanted to be happy. Tom, I get the feeling there's something you're not telling her. What do you mean? <sighs> Look, I don't want my sister to be hurt. It's better for everybody if you're honest. Is it that obvious? Oh, God. Oh, God. I just kept hoping these feelings would just go away. Some things don't. Mm -hmm. You're right. Look, I really care about Pamela, but I'm in love with Emily. Emily? Mother never liked Emily. <laughs> Emily? Emily couldn't take it anymore, so she, she moved to Seattle, and Mother said good riddance, and I said... nothing. <laughs> now she's gone! No. <laughs> Please stop together. Come on. <laughs> I'm going to marry Emily. And if my mother doesn't like it, she can move in with my brother. You know, the, 
before you do this to your mother, you really ought to see Pamela in a tube top. God bless you, Butch Gamble. Where are you going? Uh, Seattle. Ciao. He may be straight, but he's so gay. I couldn't believe it either. Should have known it all along. I was way out of my league. An architect. Mom's love, dad's respect. My thighs feel so fat right now. Oh, no, 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 wait a minute, honey. Let's just take a look at who this Tom is. He lives with his mother. He's engaged to this girl and he breaks up with her because his mother doesn't like her. Engaged? He didn't tell you he was engaged? No. What a coward. And he sends me over to break up with you? <laughs> what kind of guy is that? Wait a second. I was dumped by a loser five minutes ago. I was dumped by a promising architect. That makes me an even bigger loser. Oh, come on, sweetie. <laughs> oh, come on. Okay, 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 here's the truth. With no exaggeration, no bull, here's the truth. Tom's gay. <laughs> yeah, he's gay. Big, big queen. Likes boys, likes them a lot. Boyfriend in Seattle. Why do you think he wanted to talk to me instead of you? Wait a second. That means he didn't just dump me, he dumped all women. Yep, let me tell you, he's missing out on a lot because you're a winner. <laughs> you're beautiful, you're smart, you're funny, you're caring, any guy would be lucky to have you. <laughs> Thanks, Butch. Yep. Mm -hmm. Are you sure he's gay? Ass hand to God. <laughs> Where did you put the hose? In the window and under the pillow. <laughs> Good work, lad. Go and start the car. <laughs> Greetings from the south side, Whitmore. <laughs> what the hell? You're dreaming, sweetheart. There's nobody here. <laughs> Honey? 